Hello, this is Matt from Practical BI and welcome to the first in a series of Power BI Basics tutorials. The aim of these tutorials is to take you from the complete beginner level with Power BI up to an intermediate level. Uh, we'll break things down into bite-sized chunks over a series of episodes um, and we'll try and be as hands-on as possible and as practical as possible um, as we talk through the various aspects of, of building reports within Power BI. There's no previous knowledge of Power BI required, so we'll just work through everything at a steady pace. In the first part today, we're going to be looking at how to connect to our data, um, how to add visuals into the Power BI report, and then how to format those visuals to, to look and feel how, how we want them to. So let's dive straight in. OK, so I have Power BI Desktop open. Let's connect to some data. So the, the simplest way to connect to data is to go up to the top here to the data pane. Uh, so I'm on the home section of the ribbon. Um, I'm just going to click on the drop down arrow next to get data. Uh, and I can see the most common data sources listed below. Um, uh, but I also have the option to click on more here um, if I want to see the full list of uh, connections and, and potential data sources available um, to Power BI. So you can see the full list here. Um, and I can select any any connection that I want. I'm going to start here with um, an Excel workbook. I've got some sales data prepared that I can connect to and that sits in Excel. So I'm just going to uh, select Excel here and click connect. Uh, sales is my uh, data source. So I'm just going to click on that. And you'll see that the first window that pops up here, um, I've got my workbook which is called sales um, and I can see all of the sheets listed within that workbook in, in this instance there's only one sheet called data so I'm just going to select that sheet and we'll see a preview of the data appearing on the right hand side here so as you can see fairly simple data that we've got here we've got segment country product number of units sold uh, we've got a, a manufacturing price and a sale price a date and a, uh, a link to a Wikipedia page there as well I'm just going to select the tick box next next to data um, and I could at this stage if I wanted to transform the data but that's something we'll look at later for now I'm just going to click load just wait while Power BI connects to that data and, and, and loads it in and what you'll notice is um, on the right hand side here in, a, in this pane called fields uh, we'll see our data appear um, structured um, under the under the table um, and there we go with our with our fields listed as well so all of those columns that we saw in the preview we can see now listed as fields under our data table at the top right hand side there so um, as you start to bring more data into your dashboard uh, your reports you might need to use the search function here to find a particular field um, but for now it's quite easy for us to see uh, the different data that we have available there OK, so let's try adding a visual to our report. So the visualizations pane here is the quickest way of adding visuals in Power BI. I can see all of the visuals that I have uh, available to me. Um, there's also, again, an option to look at more here um, and I can import uh, visuals, either a custom visual from a file or, or I can uh, look at the uh, app source um, marketplace for additional visuals as well. So let's just try and bring in a, a, a simple clustered column chart or bar chart for now. Um, as with many Office applications, I can uh, drag the chart around just like an image in uh, PowerPoint, for example. Um, I can expand the size of the bar chart and shrink it. Um, but as you see, as you can see here, we've got no data in this bar chart at the moment. It's just a, a blank canvas for us to work with. So I'm going to start by creating a graph that just simply gives me the number of units sold by country. Um, so let's drag in our country field first of all. You'll notice that I've got uh, uh, options here under my fields list on this particular visual um, where I can add in um, uh, data fields either as my axis, my legend, my values or my tooltips and, and we'll look at each of these as, as we go through now. Um, but do notice that if I deselect my visual those options change and I'm now looking at my fields list as relates to my page as opposed to my visual. So let's click on that bar chart again. Um, I'm going to select the country field at the top here and drag that into my axis so that becomes my x-axis. You'll see that while we've got a title appear, there's still no data here because we don't have um, anything to measure yet. 
So let's take our unit sold column and we're going to drag that into our values field. And now you can see straight away, we've got a nice simple um, bar chart that has appeared uh, with country along the bottom and units sold along the top. So before we do anything else, let's just try adding in um, some leg uh, a legend field and some tool tips. So the legend field allows me to um, uh, add an extra level of, of granularity and extra dimension to my visual. So let's try with um, segment here. I'm going to drag that across to my legend field and what you'll notice is I've then got uh, a legend appeared at the top of the chart um, and these are my, my segments and I've got my countries still along the bottom. Um, tool tips in Power BI are the boxes that appear when I hover over a particular bar. You can see that by default there I have the country, segment and unit sold so they're the fields that already exist in my visual. Uh, but I can bring in additional fields that will um, won't affect the way that my visual looks, but will appear appear in that tooltip when I hover over um, each of the each of the bars there. So let's provide some more information um, by bringing across, um, let's say, the total sale price and the uh, country website link under country info. So I'll hover over there, and you can see that I've got total sale price seven five four zero and my first country info we'll look at why that's saying first a bit later um, is, is my link to, to in this case germany's website so that's a simple way of uh, bringing in visuals um, let's talk a bit more about the navigation uh, around power bi so uh, we've looked at two of the panes so far we've looked at our fields pane this is where we have our, our data table and the fields within that table We've also looked at our visualizations pane, um, and so far that is where we've added uh, a visualization, a bar chart in this instance, and we've also, um, when we select that bar chart, brought in additional data into those into those fields. A few more points to add and some uh, Power BI terms here. Um, we're in uh, what Power BI calls a report, and you'll notice that within a report I can have multiple pages. So here I'm on page one. I could just like additional sheets in Excel, add a new page here, and I could add separate visuals onto this um, page if I wanted to. Um, I could have uh, sale price by country as a uh, pie chart, for example, and that's a completely separate page to my first page here. Um, final point uh, from a navigation perspective for now is that we can uh, look at the ribbon at the top here and again much like other office 365 and, and standard office uh, software applications we can uh, scroll along these um, uh, the, the ribbon at the top here to, to see the different options we have available for um, help for the view and the theme and we'll talk about all of these things in more detail in upcoming tutorials and there's a modeling tab an insert tab and our home tab as well Okay, so that's just a brief whistle stop of um, how to add a visual and some navigation. Um, I'm now going to just talk a little bit about how to format the visual to make it look um, uh, maybe a bit more professional or, or at least to look how, we, how we'd like it to in this instance. So again, with my chart selected, um, I'm just going to go to this uh, paint roller icon at the top here. If I hover over, it says format and I click on that left click and you'll see I've got a series of options here um, that I can um, change to, to affect the appearance of my of my bar chart. Um, it might seem like there's a lot here and, and might be a bit overwhelming, um, but what you'll start to notice is that uh, many of the um, options here are common across all of the visuals um, and uh, you, you'll, you'll get familiar with them as, as we work through. So uh, let's just go through one by one. So general, um, this gives us the option to resize or reposition our graph in um, in in detail. So we can specify um, a Y position and X position here. Um, we can specify an exact width and height um, and we can specify some alternate alternative text, um, uh, a description here um, that will be read by um, a screen reader when when selecting that visual. Um, next option here is our legend. Um, so we can do things like change the position of the legend. I could put it at the bottom of the chart if I wanted to instead of at the top. Um, I can choose whether I have the title on my legend. So at the moment I have the word segment next to my options here. I could turn that off and just keep the colors on. 
I can change that that name um, that appears, that title for the legend, and uh, common across um, many of the um, options that we'll look at here is, is, is the option to change the color, the font, and the text size as well. So I'll leave those as they are for now, um, and we can next look at the x-axis. So the first thing to notice, um, and this applies to the legend as well as to the x-axis and, and many of the other options, is that I've got an on-off toggle at the top here. So I could turn off my x-axis completely. And you'll notice there that my um, uh, country names have completely disappeared, but I do still have a, a an x-axis title there of country. I'll, I'll turn that back on. Uh, and again, you'll see I, I can change the color of the x-axis. I can change the uh, also the color of the font, I should say, on the x-axis. I can change the text size, the font. Um, I can alter the, the the minimum category width, uh, the maximum size, and the inner padding of the bars. Um, and we can go into more detail on another session about the impact that that has. Um, I, I have options for concatenating labels. I can turn off or on the title on my um, on my x-axis, so remove the word country there. Um, and then there are further options about my title as well um, within that. I won't go through the y-axis options, they're exactly the same as, as the x-axis with a few, um, a few changes given that it's a numeric axis in this instance. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll work through them in more detail uh, in a later session. I can change my data colors here, so the colors of the bars um, individually. Um, I can add data labels, um, which, as you can see, will um, give me the value of each bar uh, above that bar, and I can format them again, as we've seen before. Um, I can change the plot area um, of my chart, um, affect the transparency, and I could add an image there if I want to. Um, I can change my title, and you'll see that Power BI has given my chart a, a title by default. Uh, always best practice to give your, your visuals a title. Um, unless it's unless it's obvious um, through another text box or something else that you have in the dashboard, um, I'll stick with the default from Power B, for, that Power BI has assigned for now. Um, every visual I, I, I can apply a background to, um, and I can change the color of that background and the transparency. Um, you can also uh, affect the background color and, and um, many of the other um, colors within the chart um, using conditional formatting. Um, which uh, I have another video on that you can you can refer to. Um, there are some other formatting options here to lock the um, aspect, which means when I try to resize my chart, it will always remain in the same aspect ratio. Um, I can add a border to my visual. I can add a shadow, um, and uh, we've already talked about the tooltips. And then finally, we have the visual header option, and this is the uh, the, the, the visual header is effectively what appears when I hover over my visual um, as I'm doing so now. You notice the icons that appear in the top um, of, of, the, uh, of the chart. So if I select that, um, I can change um, which of those uh, icons will be available to the user, uh, what color they are, how transparent they are, um, and so on. Uh, but we'll go into more detail about the visual header uh, in, a, in a later tutorial. OK, so that's a, a simple first lesson in um, bringing in data, connecting to data, uh, uh, bringing in uh, a new visual, adding data to that visual, and then looking at some of the formatting options across that visual as well. Thanks for watching, um, and please do um, comment uh, with, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, and please like and subscribe. Um, I'll be making more of these in this series as we get towards our our final um, dashboard in this beginner tutorial series. <laughs>